Okay, in this lecture, I want to talk about this idea of, of logic and logical comparisons as one of the things that, uh, one of the low level things that computers know how to do. So in the last lecture, I talked about arithmetic and variables. So in addition to having variables point to numbers, we can have variables point to logical states. So I can say A equals true, B equals false. And so now instead of pointing to a number, it's pointing to you know, the state of being true or false. And now instead of just doing, you know, I can't add true plus false or subtract true from false, but I can do what are called logical comparisons with these true and false states. So I could ask, for example, are A and B equal to each other? In this case, A is true, B is false, so they're not equal. And an important bit of syntax here, and this is one that is a mistake everybody makes early on uh, in coding, is to remember that, that that single equal sign is assignment. So it's saying A equals true. So it's saying true, you know, I have a variable A, I'm sticking the value true associated with it. Well, this double equals is used for comparison. That's asking the question, does A equal B? So if I'm asking a question, I use two equal signs to do a comparison. If I'm doing assignment, I just use one. Uh, in addition to asking, you know, this equal question, I can also ask, uh, whether both things are true. So I could say, is A true and B true? In this case, they're not both true, so that's false. I could ask if either one of them is true. Uh, that uh, uses this uh, pipe, you know, this vertical line character, we often call it a pipe, to ask you know, whether A is true or B is true. That one's a little less intuitive, but you know, you'll, you'll kind of get use, used to that syntax to ask this question about whether e this is true or that is true. Uh, and that's kind of handy because sometimes you may need to have code make decisions. If anything happens to be true, you go forward. Uh, and so you need that, that kind of or comparison. The other handy operation is not, which just reverses a logical bit. Uh, so if B is false, then not B is true. And we use this, uh, again, it's not intuitive, but it, you'll, you'll get used to it as you use it. Use the exclamation point to indicate um, not. And so I can also, uh, there's an additional operation that combines not and equal that asks, instead of asking whether A and B are equal, we can ask whether A and B are not equal. So since A is true and B is false, it, it's true that these things are not equal. So in addition to doing logical uh, comparisons with these logical bits, we can also do logical comparisons uh, with numerical, with numbers. And so simple logical comparisons. So here, you know, we might set, you know, as before, Z was five, Y was six. I can then ask, does Y equal five, which is false because Y equals six. Um, and here again, I've highlighted this in red to again emphasize this distinction between assignment and comparison. And I can also ask if two variables are equal. Uh, so does z equal y? y? No, they don't equal because one's five and the other six. Um, for numbers, in addition to having this equal question, we have a few other logical comparisons that are really handy. They're again ones that you've you've seen since elementary school. So uh, you, you can ask whether z is bigger than y with a greater than. You can ask whether z is less than y with a less than. And I can also combine uh, the greater and less than with an equal to ask whether something is greater than or equal to something or something is less than or equal to something. It's important that that equal comes after the greater than or less than. You can't change the order of those two. You can't go equal or greater than equal or less, less than. Computers care about this. This is one of the things you'll learn when, as you learn computers and programming is that um, they are utterly unforgiving when it comes to syntax. Uh, it'll just tell you you're wrong and it won't, won't figure out that you meant the same thing. <clears throat> cool, so those are the basic uh, idea of, of numerical 
and, and logical comparisons. And I'm going to use that in the, in the next lecture to talk about this idea of conditional branching.